Have you ever felt a deep personal connection to a person you met in a dream only to wake up feeling terrible because you realized they never existed? This is pretty creepy. I used to get bronchitis often, every two or three months, and one time it was particularly bad. I had friends checking in on me making sure I took my meds regularly, and one friend made a lot of echinacea tea and made sure I drank it regularly. I have no memory of this time. During that time I lived a completely different life. It wasn't 10 years though just a few weeks. Up until I got sick I was very unhappy with life in general. Very depressed a lot of the time and even suicidal. My best friend had died recently and basically my whole life sucked and I could not find ways to fix it. During these few weeks where I was out, I managed to find ways to fix most of these problems. My friend even came back. I was super happy, met a great girl. Huge promotion at work. Everything was better. One afternoon my friend and I were hanging out at our favorite bar and I realized I hadn't shown him any of the tattoos I got while he was dead. I went to show him the one I got in memorial of him and it was literally dripping off my skin. As were all the other tattoos I had gotten since his death. At that point it occurred to me that he was dead. That I somehow had a child with this woman I had met a few weeks ago and that the bar we were in was abandoned and empty and lined with cobwebs which I had noticed before but it didn't seem weird until just that moment. That whole existence ends there in that abandoned bar. No more story there. I assume this is when I started walking around on my own again, but I still have no memory of that either. In fact, I have no memory of anything for a week after I woke up and started walking around again. During that week, my friends tell me I didn't speak or make eye contact. Rarely ate in front of anyone. They left food out for me. They came back to an empty dish. It did stee. I must have been eating. I have no memory of any of this. My first memories kick back in while I'm at work. It was difficult to cope with this. To finally get all this weight off my shoulders and finally be happy again. To finally put that part of my life behind me was the best feeling I've ever experienced. And then to wake up and find out that's not real is hard. It's hard to accept as reality. Every night you go to bed expecting to wake up in that dream world and learn that bad world was actually the dream. Never happened. This was three or four years ago now. Sometimes when I'm really stressed out little pieces will creep into dreams. The dripping tattoos for example. But the one that haunts me the most is every once in a while I will have a dream where I'm on the couch with my son, the same from above, and my wife is in the kitchen doing something. The phone rings and I answer and it's my current girlfriend. She asks what the noise is and I say, that's my son, and as soon as I say that it becomes obvious to me that she isn't the mother and she's not my wife in the kitchen. Then I wake up. I know it's my stupid brain screwing with me but something in my head that I can't quite explain knows that this is reality that hasn't yet come to pass. Or a reality I missed the turn for. It's so real. It's actually caused some problems between myself and my girlfriend because in the back of my brain I know someday I will meet my wife and this is temporary. I've had doctors try to tell me I'm making this all up. It's pretty scary for someone to come up and explain almost the same thing without ever hearing me explain it before. Like this could be an actual thing. I feel for you dude. I can't explain how painful it is to lose something that great. And then have to try to explain to yourself that you never had it to begin with. I have a question though. Do you ever run across things like that lamp in the real world? Does it terrify the hell out of you? Years later I still have moments where I think I see something glitchy like that and the anxiety is instant. Like I'm about to lose my reality again. Wow dude. Scary day now. Thanks for posting this. I've never talked about this before and it's somehow comforting to write it all down. Update. Over the years a bunch of people have reached out to me about this post. It's been 7 years as of this update since I wrote the above. I've married my girlfriend, moved across the country, bought a house, changed careers. I'm happy now, and when friends from back then visit with me, they tell me I'm a totally different person now, and that they are happy I'm still even alive, let alone happy and healthy. My wife and I are having our first child in a few weeks, a baby boy. I have a few weird things like the lamp that have poked through from that dream world to the real world. The kitchen from the dream world is in my current house. My wife bought the house without me seeing it and I nearly passed out the first time I saw it. There was also a mountain in front of the house in the dream world, and that mountain is about a mile away in front of my house now. Not a similar mountain, that same mountain. I know every inch of it from the dream world and it kind of creeps me out when I go see a part of it in the real world for the first time. It's changed, trees grow, etc. but it's all still there. I can't explain that. My mother-in-law is very spiritual and she tells me she will explain it all to me someday when I'm ready to understand it. That creeps me out too. The rest of the house is different. 
My wife is the girlfriend from the original post, not the wife in the dream. I have feels about that, but the edges get rounder as time goes on. Obviously my friend is still dead, lol, and the bar from the dream is still back where it ever was, cobweb free, half a world away where I left it. I've gotten treatment for some mental health issues and neurogenetic brain disorder, and once that was dialed and I stopped having any interest in alcohol or weed overnight. Life is good now, and I don't have any of the dreams. I don't really even think about it anymore until something pops up from someone who reads this. I think it was a couple of things. I think partly it was stress, grief, mental illness, and a mild intolerance to echinacea. But I also think it was a bit of a symptom of how the universe actually works, maybe the nature of time. I think maybe the sensory suite of the human being can only experience this universe in a certain way, and sometimes when our brains break, things bleed through due to the true nature of the universe. Maybe all of time, and all possible versions of time really do happen at once, and when your mind is bent a certain way pieces of the other times and versions poke through. I don't know. Maybe my memory of the dream has changed over time to fit my reality now, and my kitchen and my mountain have been superimposed over my memory from the dream.